Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Bobby Yates. It's a strange to think that we are less than a month away from the time when we celebrate the birth of Jesus. The weather outside might be cold, but let our hearts be warm to each other. As this special time of year approaches. It's Numbers chapter 13 today. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people say and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 13. He always spoke to Moses, saying, Send men, that they may spy out on the land of Canaan, which I give to the children of Israel. Of every tribe of their fathers you shall send a man, each one a prince among them. Moses sent them from the wilderness of Paran, according to the commandment of Yahweh. All of them were men who were heads of the children of Israel. These were their names. The tribe of Reuben, Shemuah, the son of Jacob, the tribe of Zimeon, Sephat, the son of Hori, the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Japhunan, the tribe of Esachar, Egal, the son of Joseph, the tribe of Ephraim, Oshai, the son of Nun, of the tribe of Benjamin, Paltai, the son of Raphu, the tribe of Zebulon, Gadiel, the son of Sodi, of the tribe of Joseph, of the tribe of Manasseh, Gadai, the son of Susai, of the tribe of Dan, Emil, the son of Jemile, of the tribe of Asher, Sapphor, the son of Michael, of the tribe of Naphtali, Nabai, the son of Vobsai, and the tribe of God, Uel, the son of Micai. These are the names of the men whom Moses sent to spy out on the land. Moses called Hoshi, the son of Nun, Joshua. Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan, and said to them, Go up this way by the south, and go up into the hill country. See the land and what it is, and the people who dwell therein, whether they are strong or weak, whether they are few or many, and what the land is that they dwell in, whether it is good or bad, and what cities they are that they dwell in, whether in camps or in strongholds, and what the land is, whether it's fat or lean, whether there's wood therein or not, be courageous and bring some of the fruits of the land. Now the time was the time of the first ripe grapes. So they went up and spied out the land from the wilderness of Zin to Rehob, to the entrance of Hamath. They went up by the south and came to Ebron and Heman, Shishai and Tomai. The children of Anak were there. Now Hebron was built seven years before Zoan in Egypt. They came to the valley of Ashkol and cut down from there a branch with one cluster of grapes and he brought on a staff between two. They also brought some of the pomegranates and figs. That place was called the valley of Ashkol because of the cluster which the children of Israel cut down from there. They returned from spying out the land at the end of forty days, they went and came to Moses to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, to the wilderness of Paran, to Kadash, and brought back word to them and to all the congregation. They showed them the fruit of the land. They told them and said, We came to the land where you sent us. Surely it flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. However, the people who dwell in the land are strong, and the cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the children of Anak there, and Malek dwelled in the land of the south. The Hittite, the Jebusite, and the Amorite dwell in the hill country. The Canaanite dwells by the sea, and along the side of the Jordan. Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men who went up with him said, We aren't able to go up against the people. For they are stronger than we. They brought up and they reported the land, which they spied out to the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to spy it out is a land that eats up its inhabitants, and all the people who saw it are men of great stature. There we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, who came from the Nephilim. We were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight.